I'm sure most of you probably know about what hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen are. And maybe some of you might also know that they come from Latin names. But more specifically, Old French. But we'll just classify it as Latin for the sake of the video since French is from Latin. So in this video, we're going to see what these words would be like if they were English words. Basically, if they evolved through Germanic. Anyways, if you go back a bit, then we'll be at Proto-Indo-European. And that's where the etymological roots for these element names come from. This language itself is the ancestor of English and French. This is the connection between the two distant languages. With this, we can evolve these words into English and see how these words would look like if they were native English words. So let's start with the etymology. First, you go back to Old French. And these French words were constructed by words from many other languages like Latin, Greek, and Old French itself. Then we reach the bottom of it, which is Proto-Indo-European. This is the beginning of it all. Now from here, we can start the evolution from Proto-Indo-European to Proto-Germanic to English. So, Proto-Indo-European, wait geni, ker, ag geni. But to make this clear, in Proto-Indo-European, there's suffix versions of words and words that were evolved off of other words in the same language. Anyways, wot or geni, kerta, ag geni. So, starting with Proto-Germanic, there's watrkundias, hertha, and agiokundias. That's kind of hard to pronounce. Then there's Old English, and if you didn't know, this is even harder. <sighs> Waterjekund, hjorth, edjekund. Glad I pronounced that. I can't believe there was someone that was actually fluent in this language. Then finally, Modern English. Water kind, hearth, and edge kind. Now I'm just going to show simple evolution from over the time. So, put under European. Wait, geni, ker, ak, geni. Anyways, wot or geni, kerta, ak, geni. Wat kundias, hertha, and agiokundias. Wat er jekund, hjorth, edge jekund. Then finally, modern English. Water kind, hearth, and edge kind. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty cool. And if a lot of other people that think this is cool see this and like this, then maybe I'll do this for the entire periodic table. But that's all for today. So set them online. <laughs>